It's important to hold an event around modernising diagnostics because there is so much going on in diagnostics at the moment. For a long time, diagnostics was seen as just part of something else, but now it's really got its own agenda. There's a lot of investment going in, a lot of energy, a lot of excitement in the sector in a way that there hasn't been for some time. There has been so much change over the last few years. The new capacity in our community diagnostic centres, the new networks that we have, and the new pathways for patients. The biggest challenge for us is how do we embed what we have and how do we now accelerate that really for the best use of our patients. In the networking sessions we met a lot of people, key stakeholders who are really working with and also other networks we wanted to work with as well. So to get one-on-one -on -one time with them was great. One of the big challenges that we were talking about today was about how to translate investment into performance improvement and how we were beginning to already see improved waiting lists and greater capacity in the NHS. How do you close the problem that we are facing today and that is growing up between demand and capacity? How do you develop workforce to address that problem? And then uh, what you do with new power tools that are available for us to help with the process. One of the focuses today has been around disparate systems within the NHS and different technologies. And what we've looked at is how we can make a single version for the NHS, but not say you must buy this application or you must come this route, the NHS app. We should never be turning a patient away because of how they've approached us. Just, you know, get patients in and that's what we're doing, empowering patients and enabling clinicians. The big thing that we're very interested in is AI and digitally enabling the patient pathway and our own workflows. We are rightly cautious about unintended consequences, but we need to enable that and put in the systems that allow us to reassure both patients and staff that the systems are going to work for them. Systems have got an awful lot going on at the moment. The NHS has got a big financial black hole and therefore getting the challenge to be able to deliver the financial issue is great, but also the challenge to be able to bring systems together and to integrate providers so that we can start to make those changes together as one. We have made progress. There is an enthusiasm to do more. People have highlighted the challenges of building the workforce, the challenges of getting the necessary IT in place. I completely understand those frustrations, but where there is the will, and there is the will, we can make this happen.